Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. We want to thank God for what he has done for our school throughout this year. We want to thank the administration and the teaching staff of the school for their efforts. Despite all the clashes, we also want to thank you. Thank you, too, sir. You are nice and kind, despite the many punishments. <laughs> <laughs> I have the pleasure to announce to you that our school has been honored by the effort of one of your classmates in the just concluded WASC exam. The name of our laureate is Felix Williams. Congratulations, Felix! Silence! Oh my God! Silence, please! Silence, please! Oh, silence! He's one of the five best students of our secondary schools in Nigeria. Even though he is in SS2, but he participated in the last WASC exam. And he came out in flying colors by having distinction in all the subjects. Before I continue, I want to ask Felix to join me here. Now my life. We are proud of you, Felix. We are proud of you. I hope every one of you will follow his example. The government is giving him a scholarship to study up to his PhD. Do you have anything to say, Felix? <coughs> I thank God. I also want to thank the principal, all the teachers, and my friends. I will not forget to thank my mother. <laughs> How glad it would have been if my late father was here on this memorable day. I can understand your emotion, Felix, but I firmly believe that your father will be proud of you from his tomb. Thank you very much, sir. Keep working hard like that so that you, could, you will be a comfort to your mother and a help to your younger sisters. I understand, sir. I'll do my best. Once you get to the city, Avoid bad companies, especially of young girls. Don't allow them to drag you away from your goal. You have all the time to have a relationship with that one that will be your life partner. Studies and work first, then wife afterwards. Can I trust you? Yes, sir. I will not disappoint you, sir. I have a meeting in 10 minutes' time. But before you go, take this. That's an envelope containing some amount for you to prepare for the trip. I don't understand, sir. All this for me? Oh, no. Don't do that. The money is not from me. It is sent to you from the government. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I'm very grateful, sir. How are you feeling now? Yes. Do I bring you small food? Sorry. Uh, 
Have you seen her? Yeah. What happened? She said you must pay what you owe her before getting another loan. Yeah. Mom, do you owe her any money? You can't understand. How? What are we going to do now? Mom, she's suffering. I know. Oh, Tisha, Baba Tisha, oh, Tom Bamileru, Baba Tisha. Oh. Mom? What's wrong with her? But say something. Ruth is very sick. And as usual, mom doesn't have money to take her to the hospital. Why? Why are we suffering like this? It's unfair. Life is unfair. Okay. That's enough. Mom, how much do you need to take her to the hospital? Take it. Eh? Sorry, eh? Sorry, Reti. You'll be fine. Sorry, eh? You'll be fine. Felix, eh? where mm -hmm. did you get this money? Mom, I will explain everything to you later. What is urgent now is to take care of your No Please, way. mom. If she didn't die before you arrived, eh? she's not going to die now. Unless you tell me where you got that money, I won't touch a cobble. I am one of the five best students of Nigeria. And for this, the government is giving me scholarship to study up to my PhD level. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, mom. A saying says that there is a God for the poor. That is not all. The government has mm. sent me this. We talk about that oh. later. We'll talk about it. How is she now? She's much better. Once again, I want to thank you and I want to apologize for not believing you. Oh no, mom. I understand you perfectly. I know you did it to protect me. I know that one day you will wipe away the tears that life makes me shed. Every day. Everything will be fine, Mom. I know that our future will be bright. May God allow your sisters to be like you. But promise me, my son, that you will not be distracted by those girls in the city. Mom, I know what is taking me to the city. As the principal told me, studies and work first, and wife afterwards. I promise to be serious, Mom. That's my son. Felix. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Romy, how are you doing? We really miss you. I will miss you too. I think about it every day. Every day. I wish I could hide in your suitcase while traveling. <laughs> you are funny, bro. You are funny. Exactly. How could you have my suitcase? Though, we will miss you. I am proud of you, Felix. You have promoted the good image of our school and our village. You are a genius. Come off it. Don't exaggerate. I know you are idolizing me. Idolizing what? But you know you are an idol. Don't you know that? I pray you don't forget us. Bro, that is not possible. I will come home from time to time to visit you guys. May the heavens hear that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Here it is. Yeah. Hmm? Be a good girl, eh? Make sure you don't disturb mom. My son, if it were possible, I would have kept you by my side. But life has decided otherwise. My blessing will be with you everywhere. Amen. God will not abandon you. Amen. I love you, my son. I love Please you, remember mom. to call me regularly. Mom. I will not fail to call. And I promise that I will not disappoint you. I give you my word, Mom. I will miss you so much. Say hello to Uncle Maxwell. I'm leaving Mom in your hands. Hmm? Take good care of her. Is that a promise? Don't be afraid. No problem. I will miss you so much. Sandra, you ready? Mom's in your hands. Make sure you take good care of her. Hmm? Don't be stubborn. I don't want to hear that you are rude to her. 
Is that a promise? Yes. Yeah, That's my girl. Tell That's Uncle my girl. to buy me a beautiful doll for Christmas, okay? No problem. I will. I will do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to miss you so much. I'm already missing you. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, mom. But when you today the lab bus stop now. Ejosa, <laughs> Mo drop on the calcul bus stop ni. If you lalo wa e tu ba de lu nla iwo na wa ti mo pe ogudo pa gbogbo nkan to ba ni. Ogudo pa mo ni so mo ri po ise de lu nla ni. So fun. A place to make a phone call around there. Let me ask my daughter. Bola, Bola, is there any phone booth around here? Oh, I'm sorry, young man. There is no. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Do you want something else? Mm, yes, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Um, I'm very sorry to bother you. Please, can you borrow me your phone to call my mother? Mm. I, uh, during the trip, I I lost my phone. And even the number of the person who is to accommodate me. Right now, I'm stranded. See, ma, my, my bag is there. I can. Okay. My bag is there, ma. So, I don't intend to play a trick on you. I just, all my things are here. I'll just make the call here and I'll call you, ma. Okay. Thank you very much, ma. I really appreciate it. Time. Not going through again. Yes, ma. Too bad. What do I do now? Thank you very much, ma.
my calabash, my beautiful calabash, my precious calabash, my calabash, my precious calabash. My calabash, my precious calabash. My precious calabash, my beautiful calabash. Give me my calabash, give me my wonderful calabash. Give me my calabash, give me my calabash, give it to me. Ah, God, what do they want to take from me? God, please protect my children, especially Felix. She's about to die. <laughs> what have you done? You killed that woman? Oh, I was only the one that killed her. I was only trying to help her. Don't that stop her and fled that way. I Shut up! Her. You will claim your innocence at the police station. Come closer. Put your hands behind your back. Cuff him. I put inside the vehicle. Officer, you have to believe me. I didn't kill her. I was only trying to help her. Don't just stop that sled, officer. Please. I didn't kill the officer. Please. Officer, you have to believe me. I didn't kill her. I was only trying to help her. Don't just stop that sled, officer. Please. I didn't kill the officer. Please. Please, officer. I didn't kill her. Please. Officer, I didn't kill her. You think I'm joking with you? I'm innocent. Show us, sir. I'm innocent. Did he confess? I swear. I'm innocent. You are just too stubborn. Uh, you just had him, sir. It is the same refrain. Uh, he has been singing ever since. Uh, you don't even need this confession anymore. Uh, we already have all we want. I mean, I said. You ready? Please bring me the second battery of the phone. Thank you.
Oh, Felix, mom. Hello? 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 I Hello? I can hear you now. How are you people doing there in the city? I'm fine. What's wrong? I've been calling you since yesterday, but you couldn't be reached. Ah, my brother. My phone has a battery problem. That's why it goes off at any time. Okay, I see. Tell me, did you postpone Felix's trip? I didn't see him yesterday as planned. What? I don't understand what you're saying. I mean, I haven't seen Felix. Hey, Moku. He left here yesterday afternoon. That's not possible. How come he didn't arrive? Did you give me my phone number? Max, find him, please. Okay. Find him. I will. I'll find him. I'll get back to you. Thank you. I'll call back later. Yes, I'll call back. Thank you very much. Good morning, DPO. Good morning, Mr. Maxwell. How do you do today? I'm doing very well. Yeah. Yeah. I have the honor of the visit from one of the medical students in the century. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hope there are good news. Ah, there is a problem. <sighs> My nephew left the village yesterday and was supposed to be with me last night. Your nephew? Yeah, but up to now, he's nowhere to be found. What is his name? Felix William. He's one of the five best students of Nigeria and got a scholarship to come and study here in this city. Ah, we arrested a young man last night for murder, and the story is related. Murder? My yes. nephew will not commit murder. I can vouch for him. I would like to believe you, but let's wait and see. Hello? Hello, Sergeant. Bring the file of Felix Williams. Yes. It's just two hours from the village to this place. What? And then, uh, uh, through last night. Two moments. What could have gone wrong? Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. So! Thank you very much. Yes, he's the same Felix. We arrested him for murder. There must be a mistake somewhere. Felix could not go to that extreme. But all evidences collected at the crime scene incriminate him. Is it possible that I see him? You shouldn't have gone to that place, Felix. With all the evidence they have, exonerating you would be a miracle. I thought I was doing good. I didn't know it was going to end like this. Promise me that you will not tell my mother about this. Oh no, Felix. This is not possible. She must know about it. She's been upset ever since she knew you did not arrive at my place. And even by now, she'll be expecting my call to inform her of the situation. Felix, what a mess you've gotten yourself into. The whole family was counting on you. But alas, you're about to be condemned for a crime you didn't commit. Like smoke. All your hope for a better future. It's disappointing. <laughs> it's not the end of the world yet. I will get the best lawyers in town to defend you. Be fine, okay? Cheer up. Everything will be fine. Stop crying. And stop allowing nasty things to slip through you. He 
Felix. I don't understand. I saw Sandra some minutes ago. She told me Felix did not get to destination. It is true. Unfortunately, I had a dream that frightened me. But Maxwell promised to look into it and find out what could have happened to him. Mm -hmm. It is really surprising. Ah. It is true that many people are not able to buy mobile phones like overseas. But my wife told me he bought a mobile phone before he left. He could have called. It is not normal. This announcement should not have been made publicly in the Happy school. Now. I know the people of this village very well. They are witches and wizards. Mm -hmm. Wicked people. Jealous people. Mm -hmm. The fire of God will fall upon all of them. Amen. Mm -hmm. It is all this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hello? Hello? No. Who is it? No. Who called? There must be a mistake somewhere. What did he say? My son is not a criminal. And Felix be found? My Felix cannot kill anybody. Mm -hmm. What? No, it's not possible. What did he no. say? No. No, I'm my son is not a criminal. No. Shall we have the closing argument? <clears throat> my Lord. The case before this honorable court is not in any way difficult to dissect. We are talking about a premeditated murder of an innocent, harmless, and defenseless woman, a wife, a mother, my lord. Through the series of cross-examination, we have heard since the case began. There is no point at which all the circumstantial evidence do not point to the accused as the complicit in the murder. He admitted to be present at the murder scene. He did not only touch the victim. His fingerprints are all over the murder weapon. My Lord, let us remember the words of African best writer, late Shina Ashebe, where he said, and I quote, Unless the lion has his own historian, the story of the hunt shall always be in the favor of the hunter. Yes. The accused won a scholarship after turning out impressive academic results. But, my lord, even the most notorious criminals underlined, the most notorious criminals in the history are by no means donuts. It is on this note that I pray to this honorable court to serve justice, to bring reproof and comfort to the family of the victim. By so doing, we would have kept the ravenous lion of the streets. I so submit. Thank you. The defense counsel, please. My lord, it is quite unfortunate that an innocent soul one of the future stars of this nation is standing trial for another crime. This is an era where the nation needs compassionate citizens who should be bold and passionate enough to salvage any unfortunate situation that may arise anywhere around them. This was exactly what my client did. The evidence that my learned colleague talked about all but portrayed my client as a victim of circumstance. His heart kindness drove him to render help like the good Samaritan to the dying woman. Yes, he was present at the mother's scene. Yes, he carried her. But who was there to witness the mother? Nobody saw him. The prosecuting counsel never presented a witness in this regard. Yes, he touched the mother weapon. 
But that was just an act of innocence and pure gesture at stopping the heavy bleed from the knife stab. My client, before the incident, never met the woman. So, what motive could have had him to kill her? He has no previous record to armed robbery, pickpocketing, neither rape. So obviously, he could not have assaulted the poor woman to do her any harm. His mission in the city has been severely corroborated by the scholarship board, the principal, his classmates, and his uncles. So what else do we need to clear him of this grievous allegation? My Lord, I pray this honorable court to save my client from this circumstantial rub of allegation. I so submit. Having taken the final arguments from both parties, I shall proceed with my ruling on this case. On the 25th June, year 2000, you, Mr. Felix Williams, was found at a crime scene for the killing of one Mrs. Rose Daniel, in which she died immediately at the scene. The defense counsel has failed to prove beyond reasonable doubt that our client is innocent of the charges against him. This court found you, Mr. Felix Williams, culpable to have voluntarily stabbed and killed Mrs. Rose Daniel. Such act is qualified as homicide and punishable by Section 316, Paragraph C to E of the Criminal Code and also Section 33, Subsection 1 of 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is my judgment. By the virtue of power vested in me as the presiding judge of this honorable court, I hereby sentence you, Mr. Felix Williams, to 25 years imprisonment with hard labor. I rise. <laughs> to rest. Many of the people who are in this end have not committed any crime. I mean, they are innocent. So stop claiming your innocence and accept your fate. Cause the journey is long. Very long. My book. Sir, you have just 10 minutes. Oh. 
Don't go. What would the people in the village think of me? The principal. All the teachers. My friends. And most especially the family members. I have been rotting in this damn prison for six months. You are wrong, Felix. They all understand your innocence. They even sent me to tell you that they do not forget you. And that they are praying for you to get out of this place soon. They have also notified the king what? You've been to the village? Thank you so much. A thousand things, Uncle. How is Ibiti and Sandra? How are they doing? They're doing very great. They sent good wishes too. And even promised visiting you one of these days. This is the best day I've spent in this prison. Thank you very much, Uncle. Please tell me. How is my mother doing? It's been a while I heard from her. <sighs> what? Felix. <laughs> no. No. No, Felix. No. No. Felix. These are just bad thoughts rolling through your mind. This cannot happen. No, it's not possible. These are just bad thoughts. You have to be courageous, Felix. She loved you. My mother is dead. This is all that is left to destroy me. Felix! Felix! Help! Help! Honey, you will fall sick if you continue like this. You have not eaten anything since you got back. I came out to... You uh, have no idea what this guy is going through. I understand you. But worrying and depriving yourself of food and sleep is not going to help the situation. An intelligent kid. A staff for the family and for the nation. The scholarship he got gave him hope of a bright future. Because he felt he was going to take his family out of the poverty that came over them since the time his father died. But instead for the scholarship to take him to the promised land, is there languishing in prison for another crime. <laughs> and I said that was not enough. The poor mother died. Life is something of fear. It's really sad. But I don't want him to lose you too. You should know I don't want to lose you either. Now do me a favor and come inside so that we can go and eat. On me. Do it for me. I am one of the five best students of Nigeria. And for this, the government is giving me scholarship to study up to my PhD level. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, mom. A saying says that there is a God for the poor. A saying says that there is a God for the poor. I know that one day, you will wipe away the tears that life makes me shed every day. Everything will be fine, mom. I know that our future will be bright. May God allow your sisters to be like you. But promise me, my son, 
that you will not be distracted by those girls in the city. Mom, I know what is taking me to the city. I hereby sentence you, Mr. Felix Williams, to 25 years imprisonment with hard labor. I rise. <laughs> But five, you are still awake. They gave us food, you rejected it. I understand your situation, but that is the way life is. Unfortunately, you have to adapt to it. Share up, share up, man. Thirty-two. Hey, you there? What do you say to the one behind you? Me? Yes. I did not say anything, no. What? You are calling me a liar. Officer, I did not say. You should know that I'm not blind. Come back. Officer, Come I did not say anything. Come here. You are calling me a liar. You are a bagger. You are a bagger. If I were you, I will try it. Come here. Come on, stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Call her, let her come and help I you with that thing. I know you carry. Hey, daughter. How are you? That's your story. That's interesting. What? Uncle, hope your journey was not stressful. No, it wasn't just smooth. Thank you, dear. Yeah. Uncle, when are you going to buy us the TV that people use in the city? <laughs> Very soon. We're going to change many things in this house. So, wow. Nice. Yeah. Is it only the two of you that stay in this house? No, we are three. Yes, we are three. Yeah. There is one of our big cousins who stays here with us. He's currently at work. He's a tailor. Oh, okay. It is reassuring. Okay, kids. As I told you, your brother is fine. And each time we visit, he sends warm greetings. You must not be discouraged. And you must take your studies seriously so that you become important personalities in future. And when he's out of prison, you will be able to help him. We promise to be serious, sir. We know we have a great challenge ahead of us. God will help you. Amen. You, you want to be a doctor? And you? An accountant. It's doable. Hmm? All you need is just to work very hard. You will achieve it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, ah, 
I can't sleep. Ah. <laughs> After committing all these things, you pretend to seem unhappy. You have not seen anything yet. They street day. Fifty first of night, they do every day. I had dream, for real, a dream. That you say, one day just come, come give me money. Huh. But they, hmm. I buy, I carry, I come out. Now me, I can't buy moto. I can't give you a moto. Say, no, <laughs> for this place, every day is so happy. What about this? Standing up. Get back to work quickly. Assistance? Ha! You are talking to me like that? You will regret this bonus. Come here. Sir. Come here. Sir. Leave me alone, sir. Leave me alone, sir. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come back to work quickly. Otherwise, this place will turn to a graveyard to your damn criminal bodies. Come on. Come on, come on. Bob, I don't understand you guys. What do you want to do? We want to get rid of those damn guards. Who makes our lives hell here? To be precise, the one who said it the mud. Oh no. I don't agree. You cannot do that. Don't you see how risky it is? Our presence in this prison is not already. 
as the popular saying goes, a dead chief is not afraid of life. As a matter of fact, our decision is made, and nothing in this world can stop us. Nothing. Now, what is the plan? Now be on that tomorrow's night. After the fires are out, Richard and I will take care of him. I bet I didn't made on how this open of the stores will take place. But we stay with Felix so that someone causes any struggle. I do again. So, where are the other two accomplices? In isolation, sir. Sir, this is not what you promised me. I helped you to avoid. That was all part of the plan, you see. We have to make it as convincing as possible. You know, we would not want to leave any traces of uh, suspicion. You know, if they should have any form of suspicion that you are not well carrying out the plan with them, if they get out of the isolation cell, it is with shovels that we will have to pack your body parts. And that is why we have to make it as convincing as possible. So please, excuse our brutality. What will happen to me now, sir? Uh, please, you may excuse us. Yes, sir. Have your seat. Thank you, sir. Have your seat. Felix, um, I would like to thank you and appreciate you for what you have done. You have really helped us to avoid the tragic death of an officer. And we are grateful to you for that. Those ones, they are going to spend three days in isolation cell where they will be properly dealt with with the full force of the law but you are going to remain here we will not release you to your former self thank you sir during this period and i can assure you that you'll be treated uh, differently thank you sir uh, um if you continue to behave well who knows what the future holds for you so once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. the Lord this day because he has been merciful to me. Almost all the verses from you two in my life. Before the age of 24, I went into prison five times. When my life was on the brink and I lived like a skeleton, the Lord met me. I prayed and confessed my sins. The Lord, in his unlimited love, forgave me. He helped me to restore my life to the point of having a conscience void of offense before God and man. Today, I live a victorious life 
overseeing. And I look forward to the day when I will go and live with him in eternity. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. Well, that's the story of a young man who is from a wealthy family. He just rose up one day and went to his father to give him his own portion out of the inheritance of the father. Having passed out the life of the father, he gave him and off he went to a journey. And there, he met friends like himself. There, he wasted all his substance in a riotous living. Oh, it came to a time when he had no food to eat. Even he would have preferred to feed on the food meant for the pigs, but he was not given. He realized his position. And having known the situation in which he was in, he said, I will arise and go to my father and tell him, I have sinned against you and heaven. We thank God for that. He realized his condition. We must realize that we are sinners. Then he confessed. He said he would go to his father and tell him that he had sinned. We need to confess to God, to Christ, to forgive us our sins. And when we do that, with all our mind, with all our heart and soul, Jesus is ready to forgive us our sins. There is no life that is ruined by sin that God cannot repair. Yes. Life situation to him is amenable. Yes. This day, this moment, if you can bow down your heads and pray to God, He will abundantly pardon you. He will save your soul and the joy of God will flood your soul. Let us bow down our heads. Oh, Felix. Ah, let me hold your back, oh, sir. Hold on, hold on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. Yeah. I don't understand, sir. I was about to go to the quarry today when one of the guards told me I would be working here from now. <laughs> oh, but have your seat, have your seat, have your seat. Thank you very much, sir. Have your seat. Um, you know, no more hard labor for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. This is all part of the contract, you see. <laughs> you have done us a great deal of help, and uh, we are ready to repay you. You know, you can continue to clean up my office here, or work with the cooks. Thank you, sir. <laughs> no Thank you, sir. And if you continue with this good attitude, who knows what will happen? Who knows? 
right. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Ah, thank you so You're much, welcome. sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you very much, thank sir. You. I'm you. very happy. I'll do anything you want, sir. Thank you, thank thank you. you so much, sir. Yes. Felix, sir. Your release letters are ready. You need a few documentation. You are free to go. <sighs> Thank God. Thank you, sir. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Mm. I'm free at last. Oh, I'm free at last. I cannot start a new life. Ah. Thank God. Good luck to you in your new life. Thank you, sir. Once mm. again. No. Yes. That's okay. <sighs> Mr. Ferris. Madam. Mr. Ferris. The director asked me to give you this. Ah. That's nice of you. Please thank him, my dear. I will, I will. It's okay. Thanks so much, ma'am. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. He also asked me to give this to you. Wow, he kept his promise. Please thank him for me, John. Mr. Felix, you are a good man. I wish you good luck in your life. Thank you, man. find something. I have the impression you returned to Nigeria not long ago. What do you mean? Yeah, Mr. Maxwell was indeed the regional manager of this company before he left for United States with his family 10 years ago. Madam. Sir, please, you have to leave now. I'm done with you, sir. Madam, please. Help me out. Search for his name again. You can help me, I know. Please. Even if, if you can just help me with his address. Sir, please, or you contact have to take number, your leave please. now. Please. You have to leave. Please, help me search for his name. I need to see him. I need to see him. He works here. He's my uncle. And I need to see him. See, I can't leave home. <laughs> please. Please. Hello. Yes. Security, please. Ah. Reception, please. We need your attention. All right, madam. Please, don't bother. You don't need to call security. I will leave. Thank you. I will take my leave. Have a nice day.
want more? <coughs> no, I'm full. You can buy it and bring the money tomorrow, I don't mind. <coughs> Thank you, ma. Come and have your money. <laughs> Your seat, can I your seat? Yeah, sit down, sit down. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the food, ma. Mr. Felix, right? Yes, ma. Felix William. I was here yesterday, ma. Yes, I know. Sir, I want to wish most of your time. You were waiting for me outside for your shopping. I was talking about some this yesterday. But unfortunately, someone else came an hour ago and I employed him. I'm so sorry, sir. You can allow this for transfer to you. Thank you, ma. Don't bother. Felis, what happened to you? You, the brilliant student, you were predicted a, a bright future. You were the hope of the family. Ah, unfortunately, you have been accused of murder and spent 21 years in prison. Your ambitions to become one of the greatest executives of your generation evaporated like a smoke. You are now wondering Homeless, unemployed, without family, without friends. What are you living for?
Mommy. Look, look at this man. Look at this man. Ah. Look at this man. Oh, look, 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 look. oh my God! Oh, stop! Lord, Lord, Lord of Jesus! Jesus. Lord, Lord, Lord of Jesus! Jesus. Don't do that! Jesus! Put your hand to your life. Don't do that! Lord of Jesus! 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 The blood of Jesus. The blood of your problem. I have a better option. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Ah, Jesus saved. Your life story is like a movie. As a man, I would have said it is hopeless. But our God has not said his last word. He is a great restorer of life. Honey, open this Bible to Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11. Let us consider verses 28 to 30. Yes, can I take it, sir? No problem. Wow. God bless you. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. This is going to be your room for now. It belongs to my son who is currently in the United States. And you will be using this place for now. Get up, get up, get up, get up. We are only inspired by God to do all this for you. God bless you. God bless you. Get up, 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 attending the different programs of the church. Thank you, sir. Yeah. But you are not going to stop there. Yes, sir. You just have to pray your way through to salvation. When you are saved, the Lord will restore everything in your life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank I'm, God. I'm praying for it. God help me, sir. Amen. Have this chart. Read it and pray on it. The Lord will bless you the more. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. God bless. God bless you, sir. Amen. Tonight, Amen. we have special testimony Amen. during this special service. I have the single honor to invite Brad Fellis to come and give his testimony. Brad, Fellas, please come up. My heart praise God tonight Amen. for His saving grace. Amen. My life was on the brink before the Lord intervened and saved my weary soul. Amen. It all started 21 years ago.
I was privileged to be selected as one of the five best students by the federal government to enjoy scholarship. So I left my village to the city in order to further my education, in order to deliver my family from abject poverty. Unfortunately, the night I arrived, I met myself in a particular point where a crime has just been committed. In my naivety to rescue a woman that was stabbed, I was erroneously picked as a prime suspect. Not only that, charged to court and sentenced to 25 years imprisonment with hard labor. I suffered pain, rigorous punishment and trials for good 21 years. I suffered pain, agony, 21 years of suffering for a crime that I knew nothing about. 21 years of suffering, of pain, of anguish, but thanks be to God. Amen. Jesus bore it all. Amen. I will continue to praise God because it is well with my soul. Amen. Praise God with me. Good evening, ma. Good evening, sir. I'm Stephen Ojo. Oh, you are Pastor Stephen Ojo. Oh, Good yes. to see you, sir. Thank you. Please follow me. Hi, down. Don't bother yourself. He has been here more than a week. For the past two days, he has been asking to see Pastor Stephen Nojo and a recently released prisoner. At first, we did not take it seriously, but we looked on the chat there and found your number. Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Excuse me, sir. How are you feeling now? I have a more to leave. <coughs> Take it easy. Lungs infection in its final stages. My life has been a mess. Oh. I'm responsible for everything. <laughs> but you asked us to come. My family member. Especially my mother, as well as the police officers, warned me. But it fell on deaf ears. If the young people of today could humble themselves, list it and put it to practice, what parents, men of God, and authority says they won't end up like me. From my youth. Good morning, madam. Good morning, my son. Oh, there is no problem. Are you Sam's mother? Yes, he's my son. There was a gang rape yesterday, and one of the suspects we caught mentioned your son's name. It can never be my son. 
Bizim mi? Mesa! Ben bunu hakemiyim. Shut up! Hey you, look up, <laughs> your daughters are sweet. So, will you shut up? Why you cry like a baby? Get up and take me to your bedroom. I need money. I didn't call you for this. Please, can you forgive me all the evil I've done to you? Evil? You have done nothing to me. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was the one who committed all the crime for which you spent all those years in prison. And I was the one who called the policeman so that you will be caught at the crime scene. Bra Felix! Bra, Bra Felix! <laughs> Take it easy! Bra Felix! Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy, Oh, oh Lord. I uh, Can I do this? Oh. <laughs> I was the one who committed all the crime. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Man, I can't see. Julian! Ah, it's not easy. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hot five. Hot five. Hot five. My mother is dead. My mother is dead. Bro Felix, do you understand what the pastor said? For heaven's sake. Sir, it seems you don't understand, sir. He ruined my life. After spending 21 years in prison, for Christ's sake. Bar Felix, <laughs> we can understand you, Bar Felix. However, Jesus, who asks us to forgive our neighbors, also suffered for the sins of humanity. For the offense, since he has not committed, ah, he left his throne just to come and die for us. My brother, you just have to forgive him so that you too might be forgiven. Just because of Jesus Christ, you have to forgive him. You just have to forgive me. No. No. Pastor, it is not easy. You just have to forgive me. It is not easy. It is not easy. It's the Lord's commands. It's not easy. Please pray for me. Please pray for me. I can't do this on my own. Almighty yeah. God. Felix. Felix. 
I am Jesus, the innocent one who suffered and died for the crimes of the guilty Felix. It is true you were innocent of the crimes of which you have been accused. You spent 21 years in the prison, but you are not innocent before me. If I should mark iniquity, who shall stand? Since your childhood, up till the time you left the village for the city, you have committed unworthy things. During your stay in the prison, and even up till the time you were released from the prison, you were guilty of acts that could send you into a lost eternity in hell. But when you asked me to forgive you, I forgave you because I have already suffered and given my life for you. Look at my hands, my feet, and my sides. I understand. You have suffered for another's crime. Before men, your life is ruined, but I have not yet spoken my last words. Remember what I said when I was on earth. If you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you your trespasses. If you do not forgive men their trespasses, Neither will your heavenly Father forgive you. Forgive him for my sake. Have mercy on me. Help me. Help me, Lord. Give me the forgiving spirit. Help me to forgive and forget. The Lord will break you. The Lord, the Lord will save you. wrongfully accused. I have to spend 21 years out of the time that I have built my goal 
my life in prison. I'm sorry. <sighs> I am sorry. I'm sorry. But, Sam, I forgive you. I forgive you from the bottom of my heart. I forgive you. I forgive you. If Jesus could forgive me, who am I not to forgive you? From the bottom of my, of my heart, I forgive you. I forgive you, sir. I pardon you, Father. I forgive you, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pastor, thank you. Now, I have great peace in my heart. Amen. Sam, thank God for the great peace. But aside that, you need the perfect peace. Yes. The complete peace. Yes. And the complete peace is in the salvation, the forgiveness of your sins. And it is only Jesus that can give you, just as he did for me. And how do you get it? When you confess your sins, it will abundantly pardon. Then you have the complete peace. I know this is what you want. Since the days I read this chapter, yes. my heart has been yearning for salvation. Amen. But I did not get it. You will get it tonight. Yes, yes. Because Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2 says, Now it will be of salvation. Yes. It is now that the Lord will save your soul. Yes. The Lord will, will have mercy upon you. Amen. Right now, He will do it. Amen. It will give you the grace to pray through to salvation. There and then, you will become a candidate for heaven. Are you ready to have the complete peace? I'm ready. I believe the people of God are here to pray for you. Ah, let us pray with them. And then you confess your sin and God will give you the complete peace. <laughs> Wow, ah, what joy I'm speaking. Amen. I'm yeah. free. Now I have the complete peace. Amen. Amen. Felix. Yes, brother. I have another request. Another request? Say it. Say yes. it. Can you please sing the song you are singing between testimonies? What the day that I came to church to me? Between testimony? Yes. yes. And it's a happy place. I live with happiness. Heaven is a Hallelujah. Let's take it again. Heaven is a happy place. Happy place. Happy place. Heaven is a happy place. Brother, Jesus, Brother, 